little bit of a record. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Thanks for joining me again. The wind's out. Hope it's not too much. Um, I can't bring myself to wear those little fuzzy things that protect from the wind because it really does look like a blind spot. Happy Friday, you guys. Good to see you again. Um, today, we are talking about bumpers. What a core subject. And it's not a bumper review. You guys are going to go out there and you are going to get the specific bumper that looks right to you and works for your vehicle. So I'm not going to sit here and drill down into various bumper types. We're just going to talk about some considerations. I have the It broke. Just kidding. <laughs> I have the ARB bumper. Um, so, with a bumper, the first thing you got to think about is what you need it for. Are you going to have a winch in your bumper eventually or not? If I were you, I would err on the side of caution. If you think you will ever need to have a winch or you're going to add one, then go ahead and get a winch bumper. And so, this bull bar, the ARB bull bar, has a, a winch mount in the bumper and it works with the Warren, the M8000 Warren winch that I have in the bumper. So, that's probably the first consideration. Then, you are going to hear a bunch of stuff about weight, saving weight, aluminum, a little bit of steel, all steel, a combination of aluminum and steel. There's a bunch of things out there. Um, whatever you do, make sure that the bumper is, is, that you trust the bumper, that it is tested. I have a really good example on my 80, um, which the decision-making process was different but achieved the same goal, and so I thought I would share my reasoning with you guys. I went with the front bumper because, one, uh, it's a really well-known bumper. ARB tests the heck out of their bumpers, and I'll put a link in the description of how this bumper is made, and you can see it yourself. They do drop tests, they drop weights on it, they do impact tests, it works with your factory airbag, and for all of those reasons, I chose to have the ARB bumper on the front. Works with factory airbags and they test the heck out of it. Now, I have this rule of thumb. The prettier a bumper looks or the more BA it looks, the more careful you have to be because maybe that bumper was designed for aesthetic instead of functionality, right? And you want it to protect against impact. I want to be able to put a high lift on various points on this bumper, I want it to be a very strong bumper. So if it looks great, just make sure you trust the manufacturing of that bumper and that it's actually going to protect you in the case of an impact and that it's not going to be too fragile. That's the whole point of a bumper in the first place. With ARB, I know what I'm getting. I'm getting a rock solid bumper that's going to protect me from front impact, that works with my warm winch, that works with, with factory airbags. It's a very uh, tough bumper. Now, on the back, I arrived at the same conclusion, but for a different reason. Everybody always asks about my dual swing out um, uh, rear bumper. Uh, it, it, it is fantastic. It is can of quality. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. They're hard to get, unfortunately. He doesn't make a lot of them. Great guy. Doesn't make a lot of the bumpers. But the reason I trust the Hanna Quality bumper is because it is out. <laughs> if you look at it, it's got, it's got, it's all steel. It has um, plates underneath the vehicle that are darn near a quarter inch thick. It is a very thick wrong and yes therefore heavy bumper and there's there's no doubt that it's going to protect from impact in fact two vehicles from people who have been cell phoning while driving two vehicles have totaled themselves on the back of my bumper because they ran into the back of it now thankfully no one was hurt but the Hanna Quality Bumper, it scuffed the paint a little bit. I didn't even have to touch up paint the bumper. I mean, it is just a very, very strong bumper. So in the case of Hanna Quality, he doesn't necessarily go through all of the testing that a company like ARV does, but it's an overbuilt bumper in terms of its strength. And for me, it's a fantastic 
bumper. It's been great. I've had it since 2010. It's been involved in all kinds of impacts, and it, it's just done a great job. Trees, rocks. I mean, the, the skid plate underneath the bumper is uh, a part of my suspension. <laughs> the departure on an, uh, the departure angle on an 80 is not great, and that bumper protects it. And I do slide down rocks all the time. So you can see, you know, I erred on the side of safety for each bumper, but for slightly different reasons. I know ARB is well tested, and the hand of quality is very well built. So just make sure you you you. You pay attention, you do your research, and you err on the side of strength and durability when it comes to your impact protection. That's it. That's all I got for you today, guys. I hope that was useful. I hope it gives you a little bit of insight. Do please be cautious about bumpers that look great. It's fine to look great. I mean, this bumper doesn't necessarily look all that great. <laughs> but it does, it does the job. And that fins and gills and flaps and pieces of aluminum jutting out or anything like that, but it does the job, and that's what I want you guys to, to find for your rig as well. I guys, hey, hope that was helpful, hope you have a fantastic weekend, and I think I'll see you tomorrow, I might take a break tomorrow, I might do one day of break tomorrow, and then see you again on Sunday. All right, you guys, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.